If we do a colour study of this bowl of satsumas, we could say that the colour of the satsumas is orange. Now, if we look more careful, we'll see different colours of orange from the lightest lights, which is shown here from the light direction, and the darkest darks, which are around the back and the shadow areas. Okay, look down there. And obviously, in between the highlights and the darkest, we've got the mid-tones. Now, what I want to discuss, we can see from here the light direction is coming just from my right above my head. So it's not sunlight, it's just internal artificial light in my kitchen. Now, you can see a three-dimension video recording here, because you can see depth. Now, what I want to show you on my camera here, I've taken a photograph and that shows the colour version. Now, that shows a black and white version. Now, obviously, they're no longer orange. So all we can see is shades of uh, dark greys. Tonal values. So we've got the highest lights again. Look there. The darkest darks. Noon of black, oh, yeah, black and white, and the ones in between, the mid tones in between. Now, let's have another look at a version of a sepia one, exactly the same. We've got the different tonal values of dark, light, and mid tones in between. So, if we go back to the oranges or the satsumas, uh, and we ask, well, if I wanted to paint these. How would I get that orange colour? Well, first of all, we need to establish anything that we're going to paint. You're going to say, OK, what's the three primary colours? Red, yellow and blue. OK, there's the fancy words, but we'll forget them. Just stick to the red, yellow and blue. Um, and they're just the three primaries. There's actually six primaries, but we'll get into that later. So, red, yellow and blue. Are them red, yellow or blue? No, they're not. So... They're going to be, there's obviously something different, which in this case they're going to be secondaries and possibly secondaries. So what is a secondary? Well, it's a mixture of two of the primary, two of the first colours. Now what I mean by that, let's go to something called um, the, the Colour Buster by Paint Basket. Now you can purchase this as a download from Noland and Dennis at paintbasket.com. I'll give you a link in the description below so you can maybe consider buying this if you want. It's fairly cheap and it's a great website so come and join. Now let's have a look here. At the 12 o'clock position we're going to put the yellow and here we've got a blue and over there the red. So we've got red, yellow and blue. They're the primary ones. Now for our Satsumas we're wanting, well we don't want purple, we don't want green we want somewhere over here, a form of orange. It may be that one or it may be that. So if you take the yellow and the red and mix them together, we've got this one right in between there, that form of orange. Now, it'll be a variant of that orange, or perhaps even spot on. But that is a secondary colour, so primary, primary, mixed together makes a secondary. Ignore these for now. I'll discuss them later on. They're actually called tertiary. If we look at another mixture of the primaries, if we say like the yellow and the blue mixed together will make a green. We've got the colours either side as well. And the last one, the blue and the uh, blue and the red mixed together will make this purple, another secondary. So we've got two primaries mixed together make another secondary and colours either side called tertiaries. So in our example, we want to make a form of orange, so we can mix this yellow, mix a mix a yellow, mix a red, and we're going to get a form of orange. So, to make the orange overall for this, the base coat or the base mid-tone orange, we're going to make some form of orange, and then we're going to change it later on. So, for now, as a colour study, we've established overall that orange it's a secondary colour made from yellow and red. And then we're going to make variations of that orange, either darker or lighter. Um, 
So again, go to paintingbasket.com, inquire about the colour buster, it's not very expensive to buy. And here's another book you can buy as well called Colour Mixing Recipes, really good. It's kind of like a cheat's way to find, but again it's just a backup to find different colours. I'll explain later on in more detail how to use that. So anyway, I hope this helps you on the first lesson to the study of colour and how we might establish the colour paint for these. So thanks for watching, subscribe, share, whatever you like to do. Bye.